Hey friends, this is KeyX Music, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this sound into this sound. So first of all, load up a source sound. It can be any instrument of your choosing. In this case, I am going to sh um, use the sampler track. I'm going to use um, a sample that I have already chosen. It sounds like this. Okay, um, next step is very, very crucial. You, um, you must set up your root key. I know some people don't do this, but it is absolutely essential for this setup. Um, so I already know the root key of this is G1. Um, usually it is written on the sample name, but if not, you have to figure it out by ear. So I'm going to set a loop mode here. Just making sure there's no artifact. Okay, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good to me. Um, just shorten the release. Okay, so uh, fairly simple sound, almost a square wave. So now you're going to load up your FM8 effects. Go to operators, turn on input, turn up volume, and uh, turn down the output of F. So now you have this. You have successfully transferred the sound into FM8. And if you look at this um, level bar right here, then if it's going up, then you know that you have um, done the right thing. Um, or you can you go to the master, master tab here, and look at this level. Okay. Um, so now the idea is that you can use any of this operator to modulate each other as well as modulate the input. But if you turn up this F, for example, it's going to sound very weird. Um, this is because the effect isn't being key tracked. Um, that is saying um, it is not being controlled. FM8 effects is not being controlled by a MIDI track. It needs to be controlled by a MIDI track in order to in order for this operator from um, A to F to be key tracked. So we are going to load up a MIDI track, and I. I am actually going to use this MIDI track to control both the sampler track and the FM8 effects so that I don't have to arm both tracks all the time, which can be confusing. So I'm going to unarm this and use the MIDI sense tab here in the MIDI track. Turn on two slots. One goes to the sampler track and the other goes to FM8 effects of the sampler track. Also, I'm going to disconnect the MIDI input for this sampler track. Okay, so now if you just arm this MIDI track, you should be able to hear, uh, you should be able to control both of them with this MIDI track. So um, the effect is pretty subtle right now. I found that you have to, whoops, to turn up this um, velocity of the operator in order to have a stronger effect. Also, it might help to... Like, adjust the envelope a little bit. Okay, 
uh, you can choose different waveform from here uh, some of my favorites in this setup um, are some of the square type waveforms or the soft square um, I don't think the triangle sounds very good in this in this setup but obviously you can um, there's a time and place for everything and it is advisable to turn on key sync for all of these operators so that they always going to sound the same um, because you don't want them to sound different each each time change it back to soft square um, yeah and from here um, this is basically the setup you can stop watching the video now I'm just uh, going to show you some further tips um, you can use more than one operator uh, operator um, obviously and um, one very useful thing is to use a looping envelope I find that um, by using it you can achieve some pretty interesting sound you can see that the envelope is being looped by uh, looking at this That sounds pretty freaking sweet. Fighting a sweet spot. Sorry if that was too obnoxious. Um, what else? Oh, uh, one final tip. It is very advisable to set your uh, pitch band range of the source sound and the pitch band range of FM8 effects, which can be found in here, modulator, to the same value. So in this case, they're both um, two pitch band. Here's two, and here's um, um, two up and two down, which is which means the same thing. So um, it is going to sound good when you use the pitch band. <laughs> But if they are set to different values, they're going to sound horrible. I am so sorry for that. Um, yeah, so if you want to set this to 12, then you should also send, um, set this to 12. So now we have successfully turned this sound to that sound. And from here you can, you know the drill, just load up 10 different amps here, do all kinds of post-processing, um, I don't know, resample, use, um, swap out different source sound for this. Uh, in this case, I use a sampler track, but you can use any synthesizer, as I said before and um, use all types of sample to anything that you like. In this case, we're using a fairly simple sine wave, but you can use anything that you want. Okay, if you have any question, please let me know, and i see you in the next time. Bye-bye.